Good morning world. 10.30. I had a meeting at 10 o'clock with the guy in the bicycle. He rode it on his bicycle. That's interesting. He said he lives around here. <laughs> so Mila went to go uh, meet with the guy. I'm curious what's going to happen. But I think I decided is Mila wants to buy houses and, and uh, fix them up and flip them. I think this would be a good experience for her to... Uh, I don't know, to deal with all this crap, and let's see what happens. Um, you look like almost guy for real. <laughs> Slug the camera or whatever. Um, well, um, now he's saying he can, I told him, I said, listen, we got a quote that somebody can do it for less than 10 grand. He's like, well, at the end, he's like, oh, well, you know, I, I'm sure I can match it up for you and beat the price and now he's ready to do that under 10 grand as well because he was saying like oh you know the bathroom you know because of the ADA right uh, it has to be certain size well he's saying that the bathroom that we have right now is small so he's like you have to move the door put with the wall right I said well, which wall are you talking about? I said, you can't move this wall because there is a C unit there. He's like, oh yeah, you're right. I said, okay, so which wall are you going to move? So maybe now we're talking about extending the bathroom. You know how you, you know where the bathroom is right now. You said that Victor is going to have a little lab there. Well, now we're talking about possibly breaking that wall and making that whole thing as a bathroom because it has to be certain size. I said, I'm, I said, I'm going to do my research today about how big the, the bathroom size. is supposed to be. Yeah, because he said the diameter has to be five foot, I think. So the wheelchair has to spin. But I don't remember, like, even our office in Ormond Beach, th that bathroom was pretty small. You know what I decided this morning? Mm -hmm. I decided that since we've been arguing about flipping houses and you want to flip houses and I don't, you can deal with all this crap. So he's saying, okay, now if we're going <laughs> to move this toilet and, you know, redo the bathroom, it's going to be like about $3,500. I said, okay, darling, it's not going to be $3,500. He said, well, you know, plumbing work is very really expensive. I said, we shopped already for a plumber, you know. People who use plumbers and how much they pay, it's not freaking $3,500. And we're not talking about we're doing tile here. He said, no, that's just the plumbing. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, um... So now he's ready to do it under 10 grand, okay? And what did he say before? Well, if before he said only the bathroom was going to cost you 35. <laughs> That's w without fixtures, <laughs> okay? Then he said, yeah, plus fixtures and I'm like, yeah. Okay, now we're going into like what, like sunny? Bathroom is going to cost you 15 grand after all? Plus okay. he stole my boat. Yeah. So, um... I wouldn't mind talking to your guy that you met last night. Actually, what's his name? The hair, haircut guy? Desley, yeah. Desley. Uh, he stopped by. He's like, oh, you're here. Um, oh. So and then, like, pick his brains a little bit, see what he knows. And, oh, because now he's talking about, oh, maybe you need an architect. Like, But depends whether your walls are going to go into the ceiling or they're <laughs> not going to touch the ceiling, depending Me on that. <laughs> You have a meeting. <sighs> but that's why I said, you know, leave that damn wall the way it is right now. Like I explained to him, we're going to just make it nice and pretty and there's no need to move this wall. But it was funny how he's like, I came to work and then when I was pulling out, the guy in a freaking bicycle with the backpack, what the fuck you came here to do? Oh, he came on work? a bike again? Yeah. With a backpack? Yeah. The guy came to work, and I'm like, is this a joke? You didn't say that, right? No. Oh, yeah. Because when I was pulling out, I was walking to, to my car, and he's pull, pull his back. Hey, back. that's the most, that's the, that's the most anxious homeless guy <laughs> to work. Oh I'm like, sure, God. I'll give you 10 bucks. Go ahead, start ripping the, the carpet, right? But I mean, what is he going to do with these, like, bare, bare hands? Like, ripping, like, a freaking bear? Like, well, people you're... don't come to work like that when they have walls he, a, and sh A backpack? Oh my god, I wish I saw that. Because he's, you remember you said, oh, you said you're gonna be helping me, and so I came prepared. 
uh, to, tonight on the yeah, wall. You saw all the text messages yesterday. What did I say about coming to work? Was there anything? You know that he already went to the city hall? Yeah, I know. He went the first day I talked to him to find out about permits. And, and he brought this uh, thing of applications. I'm like, I already have that. <laughs> It's okay. I said, regardless, guys. Here's a homeless guy that wants a job real, real bad. I mean, we should hire him. Hey, I mean, I gave him what 10, 15 bucks an hour to, you know, rip up the carpet. It's not an eight hundred dollar job. Like he's trying to to make it believe. Okay, like. well, so then ask him. Say the carpet doesn't. He believes. <laughs> he makes believe like he's this big contractor. Yeah, I Meanwhile, know. he's on the bicycle I riding know. around town. I know. That's funny, huh? A contractor comes with the truck, tools, and a whole bunch of uh, people in the back ready to work. It would. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be. It'd be. This fun. is a joke. It'd be really? funny. It'd be funny just to see him get get video of him knocking the place down on his bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I feel bad. How is he going to be able to ride that bike home after he knocks down the walls and carpet? And it's like it's hard work, actually. I don't know. Funny. That's a true Craigslist uh, <laughs> worker. <laughs> 12.30 in the afternoon and sunshine is sleeping <laughs> while I'm doing all the work. That was from yesterday. 5.30 p.m. Nothing major going on today. Mila made a few phone calls and I let her do everything for the office. I think she'll do a good job. 6 p.m. We are taking a ride to the office. Finally, I'm going to do something. I didn't do anything all day. I did make a video of Fantasy Fest. But we are going to take a ride to the office and uh, Mila has been calling around all day. Made appointments for tomorrow. 9, 9.30. And uh, I'm Somebody will be sleeping. That's right. I'm staying out of this, but we are going to go take a ride and talk to the people that are working on the unit next to us and see what that guy has to say. But uh, Mila wants us to buy houses and flip houses and remodel houses, so uh, I figure, you know what? I don't want to do that. She wants to. So I said, let me let her deal with the office stuff. You found the right person. All right. Let's go. Have fun. So here I am. Mila just left. I'm packing up the truck with uh, with the stuff that I brought yesterday. Today was a pretty much do nothing day. It was a wonderful do nothing day. I didn't do much. Uh, Mila just left. We were here for a couple hours chatting, chatting, chatting. We were actually talking to the guy that's building out the spa next door. He's the one that's going to be doing the work, which means I have nothing to do other than write a check. He said he's going to start doing the work tomorrow. It's going to cost about $12,000. And he wants half now, half later. It's going to take about two months to do. I feel good. I won't have to do anything. I love it. Love you guys. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.